Listen. Those are gunshots. And these are people's homes on fire in a village in northern Rakhine, filmed on Wednesday by a Burmese human rights activist from a group we know and trust. The footage has just reached us. The Myanmar military calls these clearance operations in their hunt for what they say are extremist Muslim terrorists. In reality, it's a scorched earth policy that's driving tens of thousands of Rohingya from their homes. They have lived segregated from their Buddhist neighbours for decades and denied basic rights, apartheid in all but name. Now they're on the run, stateless and friendless and scared. As the Muslim world celebrates Eid ul Adha, the Rohingya are sacrificing their sons, their daughters, their mothers and fathers. Vigilantes, soldiers and police surrounded our village. They started shooting at the villagers, men, women, children, even at infants. They didn't spare anyone. These are the survivors. We have to protect their identities. Around 300 people died, 55 people were injured. Many small children went missing. They cut the breasts off some women. The villagers say the military fired rockets into the homes to set them ablaze. We lost our husbands, our children, our babies. Some of us managed to escape through the rice fields and reached here. All those remained in the village were killed. They burned the dead bodies. They burned the village mullah alive. Sitwe is the Rakhine state capital, the Burmese Buddhists' front line. Here, mosques lie in ruin, boarded up, overgrown, no Friday prayers. We have journalist visas, but needed government permission to go to the conflict area. 